Today, I'm taking you to Spy Coast Bee Farm in Strong's Neck, Long Island. Long Island is known for its beautiful destinations and this place is no exception. If you are looking for something fun and different to do on the weekend this summer, you should definitely check this place out. Hey, Kara, how you doing? My name is Wayne Vitale. I'm the beekeeper at Spy Coast Bee Farm. And today we're going to open up hives. We're going to look for queens. And I'm going to show you how the bees make honey and how I take the honey from there and put it in jars and sell it to people. Where was the weirdest place you ever got to go? Oh, we can't talk about that. Seriously, we're on the air, you know? Was, uh, you? The lower extremities of my body. Well, before we go walking around in the hive and we're going to put on our veils, it's a good measure to do just to uh, caution ourselves against if they decide to sting now and then. Let's do it. Spy Coast Bee Farm uses Langstroth hives, which are stacked boxes and movable frames. The bottom boxes are where the queen and her brood hang out, and the top boxes are honey and honeycomb. One third of the food that we eat is pollinated uh, by honeybees. And if it wasn't pollinated, we wouldn't be able to eat uh, squashes and watermelons and, and tomatoes and uh, a, a lot of vegetables that we eat every day and take for granted. Einstein said that if bees die, man is going to die four years later. That's a, that's a fact. It's, a, it's, a, it's an algorithm that will eventually work itself out and we will die. As we tended to the hive, we got to see a queen bee in action. Once the first queen hatches out, uh, she will run around the hive, uh, seek out all other queen cells, rip them open at this side, and sting them and kill them. Okay. So I am looking for actually the queen right now. There she is. She's going around. If seeing the queen wasn't exciting enough, one of the queens broke free from a hive and brought thousands of bees with her. Wow, that's nuts. Do you see that? Put in here. This is a swan. Wayne explained that the queen was in the center of the swarm and that we had to catch the swarm and make a new hive for it. No, you're cool. They're not going to go up my sleeve? No, no, you're cool. They're not going to bother you on a swarm. I want to get the bees right now. We're the bee busters. Okay. Let's go get them. <laughs> you see what's going on here? Wayne down the tree right now. You see this thing? Right. Oh my God. Okay. That's crazy. We had a few complications. Go. Okay, nice and easy. Wow. Voila. But in the end, the queen was cozy in her new hive. After all our hard work was done, I got to taste the delicious honey. And it's good for your skin. Sure. It's, it's, it tastes amazing, really. Yeah, it hydrates it's your good. skin. It's Thank you for this. You're very welcome. Enjoy. And Wayne was nice enough to let me sample his Be Natural skincare line, which he makes right here on the farm. All of his skincare products are naturally sourced and made with, you guessed it, honey. Spy Coast Bee Farm is nestled on the Setauket Harbor and named after the many spies who lived there during the Revolutionary War. If you want to visit this unique destination or buy any of their products made right here on Long Island, you can visit their website, spycoastbeefarm.com and benaturalbodycare.com. If it's fun, I'll find it. I'll see you next time at one of Long Island's favorite places.